Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Don here, your dance mentor, and welcome back to the workshop. And today we are here with Dreamcatcher's latest comeback to Because. And it's been like about two weeks already since this music video came out. And yeah, I've just, for transparency, I've been busy with real life stuff and focused on uh, other dance related things. But it's just kind of it feels good to just come back and like know that there's there's stuff waiting for me <laughs> to watch and check out in, in terms of k-pop so i'm excited to be here again and uh you know for all you returners who've been catching up on my dream catcher since my first video with boca it's been quite a ride and dream catcher has since then been one of my favorite girl groups so far so uh, with that said, uh, before we get into this video, I know most of you guys who watch my channel are largely unsubscribed. So if you have been enjoying my videos and feel like it's been helping you out in any way, shape or form, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss an update. Now, on to the video. <laughs> Like this little one take going on. They look good. Oh my god, Jiu, I swear. What is this? Dude. Okay, Sion. Okay. Don't bite it. No, of course, okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? What? Okay, first of all, that was a lot to digest this time around. And especially because for me, it's been about almost half a year since they had their last comeback to Odd Eye. And there was a lot of information to be 
read or digested within this music video like from the start we had this little twilight zone and then all of a sudden they're in this abandoned amusement park with like Gio in the carousel like I was like what is going on there was just a lot so I'm I'm just gonna be watching this music video again I just I have to because there's just so much things to like look at so <laughs> like this whole intro like I thought I was watching I thought I was watching Hotel de Luna for a second or like Twilight Zone but yeah, this was like an interesting like setting or or yeah, like this whole set right here. Like I I'm not going to lie, I almost had some Alice in Wonderland type of vibes too just coming from this. It's like almost all of them play the the cat. Um and then we had Gia running. I mean, that's just like her one of her nightmares, but it's just it's crazy, you know? Like I'm I'm just seeing like bits of things that are just heavily symbolic. And I can't really figure it out right away. Man, and this part, like how all the lights or like the lighting was just very eerie. I, I think it's always been like that ever since like Chase Me and like Good Night. They've always had like this foggy effect with their, in their music videos. It's and even this, this set does remind me of like it has like the same color grading as odd eyes like dance scenes when they're in like a boxed room or like a very inside room i like what the producers are going for like it's just it affects the music video so well oh man this dance is gonna be interesting and this Like I like this Vogue-ish style from Dami. I t it's like sassy, like rather than like her, you know, like her her bounce type of like rap vibes, that tempo. Like this is much more like uh uh da, 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 uh 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 I don't know. <laughs> and Shion, man, I will say like every time she appears in a music video her performance or, or presence to the camera is just like five times fold of like the other members like she just she's just so inside of like character it's so crazy and it's good it's the masks do remind me of like scream with like gahyun for some reason i don't know why Like and you can't you can't have like Dreamcatcher music videos without any candles, right? Like all this stuff, man, dude. I just love I love watching Dreamcatcher videos. Just... Like the music videos, at least for sure. save it for the dance actually but this little bridge section it just takes me back it's a little nostalgic and I'll explain that later during the dance it she she's always been the weird one Sua I mean, I don't know if like the theories are like ever confirmed. Like she's always had like this. 
I don't know, she's always been portrayed as like the antagonist in a way, but I don't know why. But her just handing the apple through that broken mirror is... That's creepy. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's already like theories and uh, lore behind this. But then, that was so that was much more interesting than the last dystopia tr uh, trilogy. To be honest with you, I think most of the music videos that I liked personally, having a narrative behind it was like Fly High, and like Chase Me and Goodnight, like those early days. So. We're gonna check out the dance practice now. Um, ah, man, I actually don't know what to expect, so. Okay, right off the bat, I said that like this music video reminds me of the old days and the dance reminds me of the old days. I think it's just because I think for Goodnight, uh, we had this little puppeteer uh, choreography or a robotic section and we saw hints of like v being stiff and also like just very fast choreography moving like throughout the space like almost frequently within their sets and this one i'm getting the same thing like even just this yu hyun moment where she's being lifted it's so cool like i don't know i'm getting flashbacks We're playing a lot. You know, I'm also even like thinking this is probably one of their more feminine sets as well. I think utilization of like disfigured, like open hands. And like we see a lot of creation of the crowns. We often see that in like a voguing type of style or, or dance art form. And like it's good to see that on Dreamcatcher because a lot of the times their dance routines were, were almost in between the middle of like this could be a boy group like move or this could be like a girl group move. And they've always had like intense choreography so it's just more on that feminine side which is... Huh. And a little bit more sassy too with Dami, you know? She always has that like throw. I don't know, that that's so or, or iconic to me. I think with any rapper, they'll have like gestures that like have like these hands like da 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 da. And it's good to see that on Dami as well, but it's a little bit more sassy than what I'm used to for Dami. Yeah, like, like again, like a lot of like you're caressing like the body, uh, you know, motions going on. A lot of like touching oneself uh, within this choreography. So it's very concaved, like this whole piece in general. Before, like, I'm always used to like the explosive and very outward sort of like dream catcher choreography. So this time it's a lot more tame. Yeah, so not toned down. I think it's tame. This choreography feels tame. It's like a lot more controlled and like more confined.
and a lot of like moving still and this part when I saw this in the music video I immediately thought of goodnight just the the whole rocking motion like it feels mesmerizing to just watch like them in this little pendulum motion I I don't know it just this just threw me in like a nostalgia phase <laughs> And, you know, Dreamcatcher has a lot of mesmerizing blocking moments within their pieces. Like whether it's creating after Im images to create like ghostly effects or mirrored formations like we've seen in the beginning of this whole set. And even things like this. It's very well thought out. And like I... Ooh. Like it's, that's that's a minor moment in itself, but I loved how they all peeled off of that little dom or line formation. Like it's not. Let me just check. Yeah. Okay. So Dami was the first to leave because she was in the back or she anchored back, but. And there are a lot of circular formations where it it feels like I guess another you know dream catcher sort of blocking that we see is like these little summoning circles that they always used sometimes have they're kind of like conjuring something up from like the void and yeah it's it's just very unique to dream catcher Poor Sua, we gotta have her at front for the most intense parts. Like, damn, damn, dude, that's cool. Okay, but like, I think. You know, just from like this whole last part, uh, you know, from Sua to the end, like I think what's really cool about um, Dreamcatcher is that their choreographies are often not always like in symmetry. They'll have asymmetric formations, uh, whether it's diagonals or even their roll offs. They don't have to always come from one side and then unravel to the other side. Like it could be like if, if there's like a rise in members, they won't they won't just go from right to left or left to right. It's more so like, you know, different points within like the you know formation, and they'll they'll just rise. I think what I was talking about was um like this part in particular. How they, I don't know why like it's Gahyun is like the only one to like rise, and then all of a sudden these two. And it's the three of them, but it's not, you know, in symmetry. It's different. Um, and like not always does, you know, choreography have to be in symmetry because sometimes that gives me like a much more pleasing like watch. But when it's not in symmetry, it can be jarring to watch. And I think jarring is okay for this particular group because they're dream catcher and their concept is like creepy. <laughs> but yeah, I think so far it's a very refreshing song. I, I would say like, I, I think the song has to grow on me personally. I think I'm just still so attached to like the dystopia trilogy with Scream, Boca and, and Odd Eye because I think they were just very climactic songs. But I think we're sort of, in this song entering a new era and like even the dancing like i feel like this is only the the, the beginning uh of that new era so who knows i can't really say so much about the choreography but it was definitely your typical dream catcher 
uh, which is always nice to see. But at the same time, like, you know, there's always like I'm always going to be wanting more uh, from Dreamcatcher. So I'm just going to have to look forward to the next comebacks or maybe they'll have like another special clip of them doing one of their B-side songs uh, choreography uh, within their own channel, that is. But yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought was unique or maybe something I didn't catch. But otherwise, uh, thank you again for watching. And I will see you guys on the next video. So peace out and stay eating.